Good morning, I'm Matthew Vargas, and welcome to a very special edition of the South Hawk News. Today we have a very special guest, um, Mr. Godinez. Mr. Godinez is one of the art teachers here at Huntington South, uh, but today he's with us to talk about Texas Big Art Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you tell us a little about Texas Big Art Day and um, what it means to you? So yeah, Texas Big Art Day, it's, uh, it's an event to celebrate art and education. Um, it's an attempt by the Texas Art Education Association Agency to engage all of the art educators, uh, their students, and the community to one big day of art. You recently created a series of murals. Uh, can you tell us a little about them and the inspiration behind them? Yeah, the inspiration came from the passion and my love of rock and roll music and art. So when I was uh, approached to do this uh, project, I jumped on the opportunity and uh, I kind of had a vision already of what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to represent um, the, the whole history of rock and roll music going from the 1950s to where it started to present day. Amazing. Uh, we wanted to go through and show the audience each panel uh, and if you could tell us a little more about what each one represents. Sure. So this one uh, is the first one. This is the, the first mural of the series. Um, this is pretty much the origin of rock and roll music. Um, you have uh, the pioneers of rock music, which is artists like Chuck Berry and Elvis, right in the, the center of the whole piece. Um, it also has a lot of the colors and a lot of the patterns and the instruments that were uh, popular of that time and that big circle that's in the center uh, unifying the figures is pretty much uh, representation of, of the vinyl, right, which is the form of media that we that we started listening to music to. And um, so yeah, this is kind of the beginning. So you have the guitar um, creating this new sound uh, with all these lines that are going to, you know, could start the whole movement of the rock era. Mm -hmm. So then the second one, um, the, those lines that, for, that were in the beginning of the Furious Mural, they kind of continue here. And then during this time, during the 1960s and the 1970s, um, we have a lot of things going on. So there's a lot of change, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of energy in this mural, uh, because there was a lot of events happening during that time in our country. We had events such as uh, the Vietnam War, we had the Civil Rights Movement, we had the whole hippie movement that uh, was a big inspiration for artists of this time to create music. Uh, we also have the Great Bread Invasion, which was um, you know, a lot of artists from Europe coming to America, uh, revolutionizing and changing the way the, uh, the rock um, music was. Artists like the Beatles, uh, we have Pink Floyd, um, Led Zeppelin, Queen, um, these were some artists that pretty much you know, changed and, uh, the way that rock and roll music was. Uh, and also at the forefront and in the middle of this mural we have uh, Jimi Hendrix, which was a big iconic um, you know, figure of uh, the 1960s and 1970s rock music. Mm -hmm. These look fantastic. So the third one, uh, this is where um, this is goes to 1980s and the uh, 1990s. So the hands are reminiscent of uh, Metallica's Master of Puppet. Um, these hands represent the manipulation of the media during this time. We also have the eyes, and I don't know if you can see the little MTV logos inside the eyes. Uh, that represents how uh, MTV um, was born during this time, and it pretty much changed the way that we uh, perceive music. It's not auditory anymore, but it's more visual. You have the opportunity to see music videos and um, watch your favorite artist perform. So um, music pretty much became very, very visual during this time. And then um, this is one of my favorite ones because I can relate to a lot of this music. This is uh, from the early 2000s to um, the mid 2000s uh, or the late 90s from the, okay. Uh, so this panel is one of my favorite panels just because I can relate a lot to the music. Um, this is from the late 90s all the way to like the mid uh, 2000s. Um, the inspiration for this mural was all of my favorite artists from that time. We have artists like Red Hot Chili Pepper, which is the whole pool background. Um, and inside that pool, we have a lot of different 
uh, artists or hands coming out of the, the pool. Um, these artists are different types of like genre music, uh, rock music that are kind of like, I don't know, it's like a big uh, fusion of all of these different sounds uh, inside this pool. So we have artists like Green Day, uh, System of a Down, No Doubt, Rage Against the Machine, um, Deftones, there's also the hands from Pearl Jam. The main hand in the middle is from Tool uh, that leads up to a baby that's uh, from Nirvana and then the flower around the baby that's from Radiohead. And the whole galaxy in the background, it's from uh, Smashing Pumpkins and the border is from Sublime. So some of my favorite artists, I wanted to pay homage to them and uh, so I incorporated a lot of their album covers into, into this mural. Um, it also represents how the media changed from going from a CD transforming into something more digital. Uh, and that's the whole symbolism behind the, uh, the baby on top. You know, this is a new generation of music, of artists, and also a new way of uh, enjoying music, going from a CD to something that's more digital. So it's kind of like the birth of like digital music or, um, yeah, so we have the, the iPod right there. Beautiful. Uh, and then this, uh, the fifth one, this has to do with um, the 2010s to 2020s, um, pretty much to the present day where we are. I, I believe we're in this era of digitalism. Um, everything's at the power of our hands. Uh, we're in this YouTube era, so we have the timestamp on the bottom uh, that represents pretty much you know, how we enjoy music nowadays and uh, how we have access to everything. Uh, we can access videos, we can access music, we can access lyrics, we can access uh, you know, guitar riffs, anything that we want, it's, it's right there at the power of our hands uh, with a cell phone and everything kind of like originates from that cell phone or it's coming out of that cell phone. Um, we, start, we still have our typical uh, guitar and bass and drums, but we also have new instruments like synthesizers and turntables, which is kind of like what the eyes are. Um, and then uh, also we have new technologies to share music and to store music, technologies like the Wi-Fi, which are these little bars that are, you know, coming out of the, the sides. And then we have the, the cloud and the memory and the storage, uh, which makes it easier for us to store our favorite music and to play our favorite music at, uh, at the moment that we want. So, um, so that baby that you saw the previous uh, mural, it, it's growing up in this new digital era and has all this knowledge and has all this power to access music and enjoy music. So you see him growing up and uh, the, the figure that's in the middle, that's the baby grown up uh, having all this access to uh, music. Wow, that must have been a <laughs> lot of planning and thought to go into designing these pieces. Uh, can you tell us a little more about uh, creating them and any challenges you might have faced? Um, sure. So this project originated in 2018. Um, as far as planning it out, it took me several months to come up with the idea of what, I, what it was that I wanted to do. Uh, after I came up with uh, the sketch and the idea, uh, this was presented to the committee of downtown. They immediately approved it. So uh, once I had the, the green light, I started working on these projects. And um, yeah, these projects, they're, they're, they're pretty large. Each panel, it's uh, a nine by nine. And uh, they're all painted with, uh, with an outdoor paint. Um, I wanted to do some spray paint, but I, I wanted to add a lot of details. And the best way for me to do that was through just hand painting them. Because uh, I feel that um, I, I was able to incorporate more finer details with the, with the brush. Than having it to having it to spray paint it. So, um, working with new materials like, and new media, I've never done anything this scale before, mm -hmm. uh, much less hand paint at all. That was that was uh, that was something that you know uh, was a little bit challenging. But I really enjoy doing challenging things. So doing big murals uh, was was really fun for me. And, um, and then we also had COVID that, that happened and that pretty much slowed down um, the whole progress. I, I could have finished these murals um, sooner, but we had to take like a year and a half uh, break. Uh, but once we had, uh, once things went back to normal, I, I continue 
to go back to my studio in downtown and continue with the project. Right. This is amazing. Now, as an artist, you have your vision, uh, your inspiration behind making art. Uh, what impact do you think public art uh, has on a community? So, um, I, I think that um, the impact that public art has is uh, it has the power to beautify the community. It just makes things look nicer. Um, not only that, but the inspiration that comes from looking at artwork, you know. Uh, my goal is to inspire and to motivate these new future artists. So by having um, all this artwork in a public space, um, it just, like I said, it beautifies everything and it, it, it serves as a reminder of, of the things that have passed. So with this timeline of rock and roll music, and it inspires people, so. Amazing. Um, is there anything else you would like to add or anyone you would like to thank? Um, well, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people uh, I, I'd love to thank, uh, starting off with Mr. Leal. Um, he's, uh, he's been a great inspiration. He's been a great mentor, uh, even till today, you know, uh, working next to him. I'm still okay. learning a lot from him. Uh, he's still motivating me, so um, this is the whole purpose of you know the the big art day. Uh, we're taking a day to celebrate those uh, those people that really made an impact on us, those educators, and uh, also the, to celebrate the importance of art. So big shouts out to Mr. Leal, and also um, I want to thank everybody from the downtown committee for keeping me in mind to do this project and uh, everybody from HCISD for like your support, mm -hmm. so. So you are having an unveiling of the final piece in the series. Um, when is this event happening? So the unveiling is happening in, in uh, March the 7th of, uh, of 2024 this year. Um, it's gonna happen on downtown Harlingen, which is A Street and Jackson Street. Uh, it's from 5.30 to 6.30. So you'll be able to see the, the final piece, the culminating piece of, of the whole series. Um, I can give you a little, I can tell you a little bit of a sneak peek. It's a jukebox that incorporates uh, a lot of the elements that you see from the murals. It's, it's a very surreal uh, and symbolic uh, jukebox. So uh, if you want to see it, you know, come to the event, March 7, 2024, uh, 530 to 630. Uh, this is happening downtown Harlingen, A Street and Jackson Street, and uh, we'll have some light refreshments. There'll be some live music, and uh, I'll be saying a few words, and I'm making Mr. Leon say a few words as well, uh, along with uh, some of the uh, council from the city, and uh, and yeah, you know, join us for a night of, of fun and community uh, engagement. Yeah, that is. Amazing. The impact of art on a community cannot be understated. Thank you for all that you do um, and continuing to bring art to the Harlingen community um, and also being a teacher here at Harlingen South. This really means a lot uh, that, you let to, that you let the next generation of artists grow here. Yeah, thank you. I'm just doing what I was taught. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Amazing. Uh, Thank you again for everything that you do, and thank you for joining us. I'm Matthew Vargas, and I'll see you next time on South Hawk News.